This is the first in my video series on setting up a milk crate. And in this one, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of different milk crate models and which one is the best for a kayak fishing milk crate. This week on Kayak Act. You would think all milk crates are pretty much the same, that there would be an industry standard on this, but they're not, and which one you buy will make it harder or easier to attach all the stuff you want to hang off it to make your fishing life easier. Here's the first option that you should avoid. Got this one from Lowe's, and the first thing that's obvious about it is that the holes are pretty big. And given this spacing, it'll be difficult to find all the right places to attach things where you want. So even though this thing only costs five bucks, it's not worth your time and you shouldn't get it. Let's look at the next bad option you could pick. You would think that this option from Walmart would be a good choice because it's rectangular. It's about 16 by 14 or so. And that means you can put more stuff inside it. But here's the big negative. Check out the sides here. You see this lip? That's going to be a problem when you want to hang stuff on it. Let me show you. Generic piece of PVC, Walmart milk crate. Got this from the office supply section. And here's the big problem. Check this out. If you put this flush next to the milk crate, it's going to cock out to the right. So this lip right here is going to get in way of a vertical mount. Also, that means that this part is a little bit farther away, if, if you do it like this, from your PVC or other attachment, which is going to create a gap between the attachment and the milk crate. And that's something you probably not, are not going to want. But if space is a priority, you know, you may want to pick this one, but I recommend against it. An easy way to add space to your kayak is to just elevate this like I show in this video right here. So, let's move on to the right choice. Here's the right choice of milk crate. Got this one from Home Depot. But look at all the hatches right here. Plenty of good places to attach things. And notice it is perfectly straight up and down on each side meaning that you can attach your accessories to the edge of this without having them canted off to the side. The other thing is that this is much stronger. Look how thick everything is here, rather than the Walmart version, which only has a very thin layer of plastic connecting the top and the bottom. So if you're going to put this thing through the paces, you're going to want this. Now this is only 13 by 13, and that's pretty much the standard size for this robust type of milk crate, but that should be good enough for your kayak, especially if you go with the elevation option that I discussed earlier. The other thing about this crate is it's allegedly made out of polypropylene, which means you could do some plastic welding if you wanted to attach something here uh, permanently. That may be a consideration if you're truly a shade tree milk crate mechanic. Final consideration is cost. All of these cost under six bucks, but you can probably get a milk crate for free if you sniff around a Goodwill store or a Salvation Army store. And free may take priority over strength versus weakness, but that's up to you. If I were building a milk crate, I would start with this model right here because it's strong, it's robust, and I can throw it around and it's not going to get damaged or collapsed. Also, I can hang some heavy stuff on here, even like a Scotty mount that we're going to show in a future video, and it's going to last. Got a perspective on this? Have you run through the different milk crate options yourself? Throw them down below and even put a link into your video where you're using that milk crate and although it'll go to the approval section of the web of my channel, I'll approve it and it'll show up down there for everybody to see and get ideas from. 